Our guest in this segment is Dr. Elizabeth Chereau. She is the president and CEO of the March of Dimes. Good morning, Dr. Chereau. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. Uh, I want to ask you a question because I know what we're going to talk about today has to do with declining maternity care, maternal care access in the United States. There's a term there called a maternity care desert. Can you explain what that is? Absolutely. It's a really crucial definition. Maternity care deserts are counties where there are no uh, provider to perform services, OB services, or a hospital or birthing center to deliver in. Is that common in this country? Well, uh, actually, it's, a, it's an increasing number. We've been reporting on maternity care deserts at the March of Dimes since 2018. We've seen a 70 additional counties in the United States since 2018. So you're talking about 1,129 counties. And now, specifically West Virginia, we're here to talk today, right? 49% of counties are maternity care deserts in West Virginia. That's so striking. It's a, it is. And uh, it, it's an issue, right? It's an issue of access. So where you live matters, which is really the title of our report. And specifically, we get into really detailed data on how far you drive to deliver, how far you drive to get reproductive health care services after you deliver, uh, and then think about other things that we, we, we have in this report. For every state, we look at health conditions, and we're looking at um, socioeconomic and race. And then lastly, we look at telemedicine, because telemedicine is different in every state. Um, so tons of information in this report that's coming out today. Dr. Chereau, hi, this is John Doyle. Uh, you mentioned, I think it's something like 1,129 counties uh, are, uh, are in this mater maternity desert. I think if my memory is correct, we got a little bit over 3,000 counties in the United States, 3,200, 3,300, something like that. Yes. So that would mean that it would be about a third of the counties nationally. You got it. But you're saying it's uh, – 49% of the counties in West Virginia. Yes. So, ah. John, you hit it nail on the head. So 30% is the United States average, or uh, that's what the maternity care desert report shows. Okay. West Virginia, it's worse. So, yeah. And now let me point out just some 60% are rural, and actually 40% are in the cities. So it, it's a combination of problems, and, and so it doesn't hit just one community or one type of community. It hits both. And, and realize that these type of, in these counties, we see worse preterm birth rates because of in these counties, we actually have chronic condition, health conditions such as diabetes, hypertension. This is an access to care problem. So women who don't get access to care uh, have worse outcomes. And actually women who don't get prenatal care at all are three to four, compared to women who do get prenatal care, are three to four times more likely um, to die. So when you start digging into this data, you, you begin to see the direction we're going, and the direction is the wrong direction. John Gilstrap. Is there a continuing resistance to seek medical care among American adults? I know my mom, who died very young, actually, but she would do anything to avoid going to the doctor. And I'm not far from that, to be honest with you. Uh, is, that a, is that a continuing issue? Yeah, I, I would say to you that there's issues within the healthcare system that are beyond just driving to, right? It's also about trust, um, and there's a breakdown of that and, and that we, we are seeing. And I'm not here, I'm an OBGYN, I'm not here blaming a provider by any means, but, but it's an issue across this country. Um, but not getting any care or not being in, within that distance to care, we, we start to worry about, especially in the maternal health care, about you know, what if you have that hypertensive crisis or, and you're pregnant and, you know, we, or you need that emergency C-section and you, you don't have a birthing hospital within 30 minutes, those outcomes are worse. I actually have a statistic for you for West Virginia. 22% had no birthing hospital within those 30 minutes. So, so you start to think about, okay, if there's a lack of trust or you, you don't, you can't get access, you don't, you don't want to drive that far, you don't have a vehicle yourself or, you, this is your third kid. You've got to bring those other children or you've got to find child care. 
So there's, it's a complex problem with a lot that goes beyond just trust of a healthcare provider um, or the system. Uh, but it, it, with the multiple layers of, of this problem, we, we've got to have multiple solutions. You've used a term a couple of times I've not heard before, a birthing hospital. How is that different than a hospital hospital? Yeah, so think about there are birth centers. So birthing centers are um, facilities where they just do maternity care. They just deliver. Uh, and then there are war- maternity wards within hospitals. And then there are some hospitals that are really a women's and infants hospital. So we make sure that we classify those differently. But most of those would be in urban areas, I'm guessing. Is that right, Dr. Chereau? Um Most are, uh, well, actually, I'm not 100% sure on geography on all of that, but I, in the specifics. But think about counties that are, I, so let me back up and say that 4% of birthing units have closed across the United States, so we're going in the wrong direction. Okay. We're seeing hospitals, special hospitals closed, right, for staffing issues, for reimbursement for maternity, right, is pretty low, or you have low birth volume or malpractice. There's a combination of things that are really closing down um, places where you deliver. We have about a minute left, Dr. Chereau. What's the solution to this, and where can our listeners and viewers go to find more information? So it's a multitude of solutions, that layered approach. So we're doing things like mobile units or we're bringing in advocate, advocating for a really continuing postpartum care for a full year called the Momnibus Act. Those are different in different states. Um, and we're trying to drive a ton <clears throat> of education. So you can go to the marchofdimes.org backslash MCDR, that's the Maternity Care Desert Report, to get more information, also to donate to the March of Dimes uh, to help with these solutions. Dr. Elizabeth Chirot, thank you so much for your time this morning. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you, John. See that? Isn't that nice when you're thanked at the end of an interview like She that? thanked me, not you looking at him. She thanked me. <laughs> uh, no, she thanked me. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Elizabeth Chirot at uh, 959.